The method is applied especially to soils containing hydrocarbons of maximum 5-10% and 15% moisture, exceeding limits leading to much low productivity. Direct thermal desorption can be applied also to other soils containing volatile compounds. Whereas indirect thermal desorption can be applied to a wider range of pollutants in soil, the big advantage of direct thermal desorption is given by a bigger productivity of the unit. The unit is mounted on a trailer together with a electricity generator. Direct thermal desorption has additional water cooling and recirculation system used for dust and condensing volatile substances intake removed from contaminated soil. Operation. Soil conditioning in order to be fed with thermal desorption, coarse screening for the separation of foreign matters, stones, roots, wooden parts, etc., followed by drying until decreased moisture below 15%. Material screening at sizes below 10 mm, feeding the contaminated soil in the unit's kiln by the help of a conveyor belt and feed over. In the first stage of the process, in the sober, the contact of contaminated soil with burnt gases at a temperature between 370 and 540 degrees Celsius releases water vapors and vapors of toxic contaminated substances from soil. In the oxidator, resulted gaseous phase is cooled and burned at temperatures of 850 870 degrees Celsius to carbon dioxide or other non-hazardous oxides. Gaseous phase, which drove also solid particles, is cooled up to 77, 121 degrees Celsius with a water spraying nozzle. By cooling in washes Hoover, then passing through centrifugal separator meaning power flow, this phase is separated in a gaseous part, which is released in the air and the solid part will be recycled in the oxidator. The water used in the spraying system is trapped, cooled and recycled for solid phase separation. The contaminated soil leaves the rotary kiln, it is cooled and can be reused. Mobile unit for direct thermal desorption is equipped with all measure and control devices needed for monitoring and real-time adjustment of low parameters.